Khan. We had a little uh, interruption. Okay. Uh, this is uh, part two. And uh, we want to go into uh, Second Ezra 8 and 48. Uh, Second Ezra 8 and 48, it says, uh, And this also thou marvelous before the Most High, and that thou hast humbled thyself, as it cometh thee, and thou hast not just thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. Con, this is this is Ezra. He was posing a lot of questions to the Most High, and the Most High said, you know, hey, it's, it's marvelous. It, it was marvelous in, in, in the Lord's eye that, that Ezra had humbled himself and didn't count himself to be amongst the righteous. Huh? You know what I mean? Because uh, there's a, you know, the scriptures say in the book. You know, I'm gonna get this. Psalms 22 and 6, it says, But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despise of the people. So that's that's really the, the, the most humble thing you gotta realize, man. You have to realize you're you're nothing in this truth, man. You you know, it, it, you realize that you're doing work, you know you have value as far as uh, that you're actually of the of the tribe of Israel, man. You have that nation, that great nation, man, but it, Really, it's a, it's a humble thing to be in this truth in, in, in general because you know that, you know, we're not shit. We're not shit. We're considered worms to the most high, man. And you have to walk with that meekness and humbleness because the meek shall inherit the earth, man. The proud shall be put out of existence, man, as the scriptures say. The scriptures say, first, I want to make a point real quick, if I may. It was a marvelous thing for, for, for Ezra to not count himself amongst the righteous. Mm -hmm. That was a marvelous thing in the eyes of Kyle Bashan you know? I got this real quick, brother. This is on Isaiah 2 and 11. It says, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. So when the Lord comes back, man, all pride, all haughtiness, man, you know, all that stuff is going to be bowed down, man. The scriptures say, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess, man. Yahweh Bashan Yahweh is 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 the truth, man. Right? Because you know, there's a lot of pride, pride in this world. And we are not to walk like that. Uh jumping down, it says um 17, Isaiah 2 and 17, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. So the Lord's gonna be exalted when he comes in the chariots, man. When he when he comes in his in, in, in that fathership, man, you know, the scriptures say, um, all, every eye, every eye shall see him, and, and everyone shall bow, and everyone shall confess. And that's what the Lord's going to be in His glory, and all men are going to be bowed down. So there's no reason, there's no reason to be, you know, proud for them because we know that we come from, you know, we came out of the darkness into the light, and you have to always remember that and not be afraid to admit that. Man. You can't ever forget where you came from. You can't ever forget that you came from the bottom. Man. You know what I'm saying? And then now you got this truth, you got this light. So all of a sudden, you got that chariot ticket, man. It shouldn't be so with us, man. It shouldn't be amongst anybody. But, you know, you do got to have a sense of confidence. You do got to have a sense. You got to have faith in this truth. But remember, man, this walk is so spiritual. It's, it's a spiritual thing. Everything you hear, everything you, what brothers say, everything that, uh, uh, um, every video, you know what I mean? Like, hey, like that brother said, that brother made that video, man. Uh, GMS Shara Mahba, that channel. Mm -hmm. He just made a video saying that you have to look at every brother with his spiritual value. You know? Because every brother in this truth, given given this knowledge, he has a certain uh, a portion, and, and he might just have something that you just might need to hear. You know, N not there's no such thing as one brother being all complete. We form like Voltron, and if you really say that, you gotta believe that. You gotta understand that. You know, what I'm saying scripture says, look on no things, look onto the things of the of, of the other man. You know, what I'm saying preferring the other man. You know, what I'm saying building up the other guy. Not always just building up yourself or, or, or be a respecter of persons or none of those things. We have to build up each other, man. That's how this thing, that's how, that's how it really is going to function. Okay. Okay. I got this for you. It's uh, Sirach 6, or Sirach 7 and um, 17. It says, Humble thyself greatly, for the, ven for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms, man. So you have to realize that, man. You, this, this is not a work of pride or boasting, man. It says, Pride is not made for men. So this thing, you have to realize that the Lord gave you this thing. You're in this thing because the Lord ordained you to be in this thing. You're in this thing until the Lord says you're not going to be in this thing. Or you're destined to get through this whole thing. But no no man knows that. And nobody knows who's going to make it to the end. Many, many are called, but few are chosen, man. So, so what you know that you've been called, 
Don't use that calling as, as a way to boast yourself up or think of something that you're so great at. You know, you, you, you realize that you have a, a, a spiritual calling, yes. You need to realize that and you need to walk with that in mind, you know, walk worthy of the vocation which you've been called man, but you can't you, you can't come at this in, in any type of pride, man. It's not wise. I got this right here to do it on one and seventeen. And and, 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 and and you know when, when uh, you know the, the, that the elder said it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he's ordered everybody, you know, why he made his video. Because these videos are for what? They're for, for everyone, they're for, for, for exhortation to to uh, you know put the other man up on something that he, he doesn't know, you know, word things and, and, and bring things out in a form where someone else can can uh, understand and be like, you know what, I've never seen it like that, or or hey, you know what, wow. You know, hey, I learned something from that. That's what we have to, we, you know, we're here to learn from one another. So you have to hear everybody. You have to hear everybody out. You know, this is in the law, man. This is Deuteronomy 1 and 17. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is of, is of the most highs. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. All right? So, you, you know, if anything's going on, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you... You know, it's best to hear everyone's side, man. Should say it's it is a shame to to reprove without hearing both sides, man. You can't just you know just review and not know the whole the whole matter. Right. But moreover, you shall hear the great as, as well as the small. So even the smallest of brothers, man, you gotta hear him out. You know what I'm saying? Because he has a portion too. He might be telling you something that you don't know. You know what I mean? And that's that's spiritual. Every father not gonna come out the heaven, you know what I'm saying, and kind of tell you. You're going off. And you're going off, man. He's going to send who? He's going to send a brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers who you labor with, brothers who know you the best, brothers who see you and know, know what's going on. They, you know, they're going to tell you, and, 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 and as well as you telling them, as well as them telling you, you're going to tell them. And that's how this thing functions, man. That's brotherhood. That's that straight game. You know what I mean? You know, having to hear uh, things about yourself. Because in this truth, you're going to hear things about yourself. That's what these scriptures, they cut, man. Come, uh, this is the, the book of uh, second, second, Peter. Yeah. Second, second Peter 2 and uh, 10. Um, second Peter, come hey, and that's the thing, we gotta walk wise in this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? All, always, you know, all wisdom, you know, you know, striking lawfully, you know, the commandments. You know, praying and fasting, staying spiritual. You know what I mean? Not doing, not doing too much. You know, of the world because you gotta have a balance. You know, the scriptures say, you know, um, we we're, we're users of the world, but not abusing abusers of the world. So you know, you might you know have a drink, or you you might have a woman, or you might you know listen to music, or you might go out here and there, you might go to the mall and buy clothes. You know what I mean? But you don't want to be consumed with the ways of this life or worry too much about this life. And it's hard sometimes because sometimes you got problems that come upon you, you got bills, you gotta work overtime, you got you got a you got a woman that you gotta take care of, you got kids, you know, so on and so forth. You got respond we got responsibilities in this street, man. Sometimes, you know, you gotta make sure that these things are not overtaking us in any form, in any fashion, you know what I mean? Second Peter Stone Ten says but chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness and no. spies. I'm talking about uh, 1 Peter 1 and 10. 1 Peter 1 and 10 it says, of which salvation the prophets have... Uh, Salakia, yeah, Salakia, 2 Peter, Second Peter 1 and 10. 2 Peter 1 and 10 it says, it says, uh, wherefore rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fail. Come, so you gotta be diligent, man. Diligent in this, in, in this, diligent in this truth. You know what I mean? Pushing videos, you know, going out to the highways and hedges, praying and fasting. Because you know what? This, uh, this, uh, there's another brother, man. Uh, uh, GMS uh, Assidians, DMV, DMV Assidians. Yeah, yeah. They made a video to say it's not just about pushing videos and, and going out to the highways and hedges. It's about really being brotherly. It's about, it's about, you know. Putting yourself in uh, David's, David and Jonathan's um, uh, position, putting putting yourself in their role, how they were. You know what I'm saying? Scripture says their love surpassed as a, a, a woman, man. You know what I'm saying? That's true brotherhood. You know what I mean? There's nothing carnal. It's a spiritual thing where, where where brothers can 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 put each other up on it, man. Can can teach each other. 
and, 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 and look at each other with with real love, man. And a lot, you know, a lot of people think that's weak or 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 or, or, or that's fake or, or, or whatever the case may be. But the truth say, man, he that love the most, he he that love the most high must love his brother, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got you got to be brotherly, and 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 because this truth is 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 you know it's mainly really about love and humbleness and meekness. And, you know, the Lord said that. Uh, um, uh, the disciples were disputed. Who shall be great uh, in the kingdom of heaven? He says, hey, unless, unless you be converted as a young child, man. A young child ain't, ain't, ain't acting uncontrolled. A young child is, is, is soaking up knowledge, listening, learning, you know what I'm saying? You know, getting, of course, a young child's going to get, what? Spanked, reproved, and checked. That, that, that's obvious, man. Young children, you have to reprove young children, man. Because young children, they don't, grow, they don't just come, come into, into the world knowing how to do things. So you got to be diligent. You know, say diligence in what? In this whole truth, this whole knowledge, man. You know, being being a man of the Lord. You know what I mean? Hey, and you know, we're not gonna sit here and say we already got it. If you could give me Philippians three and uh, sure. uh, eleven. This is Philippians three and eleven. It we, says we, we don't got it. You know what I'm saying? We're, hey, we're not gonna sit here and say that we got it. You know what I'm saying? That we we uh, you know, we got the the. the the cherry ticket. I don't got a cherry ticket. I don't got a ticket on the cherries, man. I'll tell you straight up, man. You know, that's why we we doing these videos in what in, in hopes to edify, in hopes to to um, endeavor to keep the spirit. Like it says in Ephesians the fourth chapter, you know, endeavoring to keep the, the unity of the spirit amongst brothers, man, amongst this truth, amongst the hopeful elect, amongst the Lord's people. That's what this thing is about: uplifting those brothers who've been in, in the hell, pushing this word. Staying in the spirit to produce good fruit, you know what I'm saying? To have works. So when the Lord looks at us, like, man, you were brotherly, you were in the spirit, you were diligent, you, you know what I'm saying? I called you and you did what you had to do, and you're worthy. Hey, you know, the gates they immediately open up to you. But if it's contrary wise and you justify yourself and you, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you just not doing what you're supposed to do, man. Because, you know, us men, hey, man, you, you got to know when you're doing it and you got to know when you're not doing it, man. And you gotta admit that. You gotta have to admit it, man. You know, because at the end of the day, it's it's you. See, we, you know, you gotta seek out your own salvation at the end of the day. I mean, this brother can get together and make a thousand videos, but at the end of the day, I gotta be doing what I'm doing, just like this brother gotta do what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So we're not here saying that we already got it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no cherry tickets, man. This is uh, Philippians three and uh, eleven. It says, "If by any means I might obtain unto the resurrection of the dead." Not as though I have already obtained, uh, either were all, all already perfect, but I follow after that I may app apprehend for that which, since for that which also I am uh, apprehended of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, but, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. And, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, and press toward the mark for the praise of the high calling of the Most High in Yahushai. It says, "Let us therefore, as many as be perfect." Hold on, it's like it's like it. Run that back in the uh, fourteen verse, the thirteen verse, no, twelve verse, twelve verse. This is um, not as though I had already attained either were already perfect. Right. So we're not saying that we already got it, mm -hmm. or we're already perfect. Go ahead. It says, um, but I follow after that, if that I have, if that I may have apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Yahushai my right. my shot. Right, so we, we continue, man. We're not saying that we're perfect or we already got it, but we continue that which was given to us by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Go ahead. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. Right, so we're not saying in any, in any way, we're not saying like, oh, we already got it. But there's one thing that we do do. This is um, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward unto those things which are before. Right. So we're not looking backwards, man. We're not looking about our mistakes from, to, from yesterday. At times you do, though. At times, and that's good to look at your mistakes, man. It's good to look at yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when, when you look at your faults, you know what areas you got to grow in. But if you don't look at your faults, man, you know, you might continue doing the same damn things, man. And, and, and in that folly, it'll be manifested um, everywhere. It'll be manifested, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to see. So you got to make sure that, you know what I mean? That, 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 
that you 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 moving forward. You're reaching forward, man. You're striving, constantly striving forward, continuing, continuing, continuing. Like not looking back so much at the things you do, man. Like forget about those things yeah. that you do. You know what I'm saying? You gotta consistently examine yourself as the scripture say, man, so you can say interesting. And move forward. Yeah. And move forward. Continue to move forward. Like, okay, cool. And you know what? Things have been brought to my attention, but I gotta move forward. I gotta fix that and continue to keep going. Yeah. It says, uh, verse 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Yahushua and Mashiach. Con. So we press. We press forward to the prize, which is what in this high calling, which is the high calling is what to be a, to be a to be a prophet, man, to teach this ministry, and the prize is what the king. Getting the kingdom, getting salvation, right through your house, watching your shot. That's right, man. So, that's it. Hey, with that, we want to say, um, Carl Hall, you have watched in your shot. Double honors to the apostles and elders that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim. Shalom. Shalom.